This is an introduction to how to use watercolor paint from the pan. I have a paintbrush, a cup of water, some paper towel, and I have watercolor paints. Right now my paints are all dry. And this is how they start. Before we even begin, I'd like to just say that the paintbrush has a metal part called the ferrule. It has bristles and it has a handle. When I paint, I don't bring my fingers down to the metal. I keep them back here on the handle. And we, we call this watercolor paint because it requires a lot of water. Now I'm going to activate my colors by adding plain clear water to the dry pan. And I just tickle the paint with the water and you can see it starts to get a little juicy. Before I switch colors, I rinse my brush and dry it off. Now I'm just going to add water to the orange and activate that color with clear water. And I dip and wipe my brush and dry it off to make sure my bristles are clean before I activate the next color. You might notice that my blue didn't have a lot of paint in the pan, but just a little bit of paint. When we add the water, that paint will activate and we'll have plenty to use for today's work. When I paint with watercolor paints, I can grab some paint with a clean brush and start doing lines. And with a paintbrush, I can do thick lines and thin lines. And I wash my brush in between any color. That way, I don't contaminate my yellow with the red color I started with. Painting with the brush is a lot like drawing with a pencil, but you can get thicker and thinner lines with your paintbrush. There are a couple of ways to use paint besides just drawing lines. Right now I'm painting a square with clear water no paint on my brush and I can see a shiny square where I've added the water. Now I can add paint and the paint will go where the water is. It's a fun effect to see how the paint bleeds. I can also move the paint where there is water and it's smooth and even. If you have to paint a large area, it's a good idea to wet the page first where you want that color to go. I painted a second shape with water, this time a circle. And if I can use two colors in that shape, I'll use some green and paint half of it. And you can see how my green is moving toward where there's wet paper. I'm going to add to that green some blue. On the other side of my circle, I'm starting with the loaded paintbrush of blue. A loaded paintbrush means that brush has paint on it. Now I have cleaned my paintbrush and I can just sort of stitch those two colors together on the wet page and the paint will blend pretty evenly and transition from blue to green. Sometimes my students will have a paintbrush and they will paint and paint and paint without getting more water. And that makes this effect where there's a scratchy brush mark. Now that 
usually is not the look we want. And it's also a way we use up our paints too quickly. You can add water to the paint that you've already put down without getting more paint from the pan. And you can even out that shape by adding water and pushing the paint where you want it to be. When you're finished painting, be sure to rinse your brush by dipping and wiping and drying that brush off. We want all of the bristles to run in the same direction. We don't ever want to mash our paintbrush down and scrub. That's a good way to ruin a brush and then your brush will not give you nice thin lines like we want. So I'm careful when I dry my brush to twist it and wipe it gently until the bristles all run in the same direction.